So welcome back to my channel, this is Gamer Dom, and here we are on the Super Death server and here is the new Italian Premium Tier 8 Medium Tank. This is the Progetto M35 Mod 46. Sadly not available yet to play with, it's only available to review within the compare function. Which is a real shame because it... Uh, I'd like to have a go with it. I'm not sure about that cow head on it. It's an interesting looking beastie. So let's take a look at some of its stats. So it has a 90mm gun which has penetration of 212 with stand ammunition which is not bad at all. Now remember it does have this weird auto loading mechanism so it is, I believe it's a 3 shell magazine, it doesn't actually say bizarrely um, but basically if you fire one shell out of the magazine it starts to reload it unless you fire another shell in which case it then starts reloading two shells and then if you fire the third shell out it then does a full magazine reload um, full magazine re reload is 31.16 seconds which is pretty darn lo long um, so you're going to have an interesting tactical decision. Do you offload everything you've got in a burst or do you fire one shot, let it reload, which takes about three seconds, I think, two to three seconds to reload the shell um, and just fire it like a normal gun, basically. So 212 average penetration, uh, 259 with its premium loadout which I'm guessing will be APCR but again it's guesswork because it doesn't tell me here 240 average damage which is pretty standard for a 90mm gun dispersion of 0.33 is pretty good aim time of 2.1 is also pretty good so with this 100% crew I'm, get, I'm getting um, oops, sorry, 1765, uh, 67 DPM which is pretty pretty poor also with 100% crew the dispersion is now 0.32 which is excellent and aim time of 2.01 so it's a snipey tank so you've got an autoloader that can snipe but then probably when it needs to get in and down and dirty the ability to dish out uh, what's that three uh, 720 average damage in a burst is pretty good indeed so um, what else to say about it? Turret traverse 37.55 degrees per second, which is not bad. Gun depression is it also very good of minus 8. So, all in all, pretty good. Survivability, well, it's a medium tank with very little armour. Even the turret is pretty darn weak. Although, I wonder whether this gun mantle will do something for you. So, it's only uh, hull-wise... Um, 60, 30, 20, and it's flat as a pancake. 80, 60, 25 on the turret. So again, no real armour to speak of. Now it's beautifully rounded. You can see a really nice rounding. It's a question of whether you get any extra protection with that uh, gun mantle. And I don't know the answer to that yet. 1,400 hit points is pretty standard. It's a fairly lightweight vehicle, uh, 35 tonnes without any equipment mounted, 650 engine, giving it an 18.63 power ratio, which is very, very good indeed. For a medium, uh, 55 kph top speed, 20 in reverse, and traverse speed of 41.72. So, as we suspected, pretty mobile. Concealment, though, not great. Only 12% when stationary and in cover, which is nothing particularly special at all view range not bad 390 standard um, and signal range of seven uh, sorry 570 which is also not bad at all so as we suspected a premium tank with this weird auto loader which will give us a chance to test out the Italian tanks when they come into the tech tree um, which will be pretty good at long-range sniping and then you know, then the ability to potentially dish out quite a lot of punishment to a crippled tank in a very, very short space of time. And that's exciting. Very, very interesting at the same time. So 
I'm really looking forward to have a go with this tank. I, I wish we could try it out ourselves on the test server. It appears this is only for those folks in the test server. Uh, super test, sorry. So let's compare the Progetto 46 with some other premium tier 8s. The obvious one to compare it with is the Lorraine 40 ton, the French tier 8. Um, and the, the Lorraine seems to have it um, in terms of stats, in terms of well, pretty much everything in the gun department at least. 240 average damage from the Progetto versus 300 on the Lorraine. Also the Lorraine has better penetration by 20 millimeters. Um, other stats are pretty much the same however on the surface it looks like the Italian job has a better reload time 31.16 for its clip whereas 35.24 for the Frenchy however that's a little bit um, uh, not quite correct because it is the um, magazine size obviously different so the Italian tank only has three shells the French tank has four so 31.16 for three or 35.24 for four however the one area where the Italian does actually win out is in um, intershell reload so each individual shell reloads quicker by half a second so two seconds as opposed to 2.5 on the Lorraine but that's not going to make a huge amount of difference so it certainly seems like the Lorraine wins out on the gun department aim time however different story so the accuracy and aim time of the Italian tank is way way better uh, 2.01 aim time as opposed to 2.59 for the Lorraine and 0.32 as opposed to 0.36 in fact the Progetto comes out well, one of the highest across the board in fact second highest on aim time behind the pilot and second highest on uh, on dispersion behind the Panther 88 so the accuracy of that gun is extremely good DPM wise they're all pretty garbage to be honest the autoloaders anyway and actually the Progetto comes out better uh, better than the Frenchie by nearly 100, 100 uh, extra hit points so 1 point, uh, 1765 as opposed to 1885 still nowhere near what the single, or the single shot tanks do um, but you know still not bad at all hit point wise they're all pretty much of a muchness uh, the panther has more and in fact the um, the Italian tank has a hundred more hit points than the Lorraine does so that's all good now uh, talked about the armor being pretty much garbage on the Progetto but it's actually better than most of its rivals here in this uh, in this tier certainly hull wise of 60 30 20 is better than the Lorraine um, only slightly worse than the pilot it's only slightly worse than the Panther slightly worse than the worse than the Victoria and better than the FV4202 and why it's really important is that um, 40 millimeters of frontal armor on the Lorraine um, given the way the um, auto pen works can be auto penned by anything of 121 or higher shell um, size so that's kind of a big deal whereas 60 millimeters doesn't sound much but 60 times 3 is uh, 60, 120, 180 so it means you'd have to be hit by a shell 180 plus to auto pen the hull of the of the Italian thing so pff, that's pretty good turret wise um, it's again it's a better story than the Lorraine 80, 60, 25 as opposed to 45, 30, 20 still no comparison with in fact it's better than the pilots that's a 76, 63, 63 so certainly the frontal armour is better than the pilots is okay, although of course that gun mantle on the pilot does bounce things and we don't know what the gun mantle is going to be like really on the Progetto um, but they're no comparison to the uh, Panther Victoria or the uh, FV which have very very thick turrets so in terms of power Lorraine has it by some distance uh, by four, yeah that's that's actually quite alarmingly 18.63 uh, as opposed to 21.25 for the Lorraine so the uh, the Italian tank will be slow away from the blocks but it's comparable with all the other premiums here uh, they're all pretty much of a muchness uh, between 14 and 17 so actually the uh, Progetto comes in second behind the Lorraine in terms of speed uh, acceleration um, top speed wise come on come away leave me that back 
there we go 55 is second equal on all these tanks same speed as the pilot so that's pretty darn good traverse speed again pretty good story better than the Lorraine uh, second equal in, in of all these tanks here so that's pretty good too uh, camo well they're all pretty garbage so we'll forget about that view range 390 is better than the rain better than the pilot better than the panther um, only second to the victoria which has a whopping 400 and to the fv which has 390 as well so it stands up pretty well on the stats uh, of course stats are something completely different to the reality so we'll need to see what it looks like in battle itself but on the surface of it this brighetto um, appears to be quite a nice little tank and certainly it's going to be very interesting to see what the this new gun mechanic um, does and how it works out sadly the latest news coming out of uh, world of tanks at the moment is that we uh, won't get the italian this tank before the new patch comes in which is a real shame um, despite the fact it's obviously been super tested at the moment um, there was some suggestion because of the idea of the crew that you want at Christmas um, that you might be able to hold on and put it in this tank when, when it comes in but sadly the developers uh, seem to be hinting that now that won't be the case and we may well get this tank after we have to use up our female crews if you haven't already done so so that's a shame I was keeping mine to put in there it's a four man crew commander gunner driver and loader so and it's a pretty nice looking tank it's very very um, centurion looking on the side don't you think it's very flat sides with the extra skirting on but not a bad looking tank anyway let me know in the comments down below if you're excited about getting to play with this thing I wish we could play with it on the super test server, be on the test server even, uh, that would be fabulous. But unfortunately we can't just canoggle it here and have it slowly rotate for us because that's another new feature of 1.0 which is what the uh, test server is all about at the moment. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a like and let me know down below what you think about the Italian uh, premium. Are you out to buy it? Will you get it? No idea of cost yet, but I guess a premium tier 8. £30 maybe, £25, something like that. We'll have to see what they set it at. I hope it's a decent price without, without being outrageous. So in the meantime, enjoy your games, have fun, and try not to take it too seriously, and I will see you again soon. This is Gamer Dom, signing out.